Man, hello! Shut up here. Um, and I want to show something that I've been, I taught recently as part of a larger series. So, it sounds really simple, but as, um, I think the series fits like, um, if it closes a gap in one of the primary strategies from Close Guard, which is the, the drag on. So, like, if we say, man, there's, there's multiple different ways to create ideal situations in the Close Guard, one of them is to get the arm across the center line. Like, let's uh, I'll show it real quick. So anytime that in close guard, I'm able to get his arm across the center line and then hug his body and keep him locked in, like this is a, a very advantageous situation for me to create, right? And one of the ways we you know, get there is to, to drag the sleeve. So like if I go, you know, cross hand to the sleeve, grab the back of the arm, lift my head, pull the elbow, punch across, boom. Like I expose the back, I can square back up for the arm, I can, I can sweep when he drives into me, all this stuff, all this fun stuff, right? But, like, one of the responses he will give me, if I keep doing this, is he's gonna start, man, you got grips, I'm gonna lock my elbow, I'm gonna pull away. So he starts pulling, like I start driving the drag, he pulls away, right? And in that moment, like, you have a choice, you have a choice to try to fight, strength against strength, which never really makes sense. Or you can use his reaction against him. So like here, I start dragging, sit up, and then I push his arm through. So, well, what I'm doing is I sit up so that I get above his elbow. And I slice through, and I pinch his arm in between my forearm and my, my chest and bicep. Pinching him tight. So now when he tries to retract, there's some delay. That gives me a moment to transition a grip. So if we go again, look, I start dragging, boom, he pulls away. I sit up, punch, and then look, the transition on the grip is that I go from a sleeve to a C grip, and then I lock. And this becomes a reverse Kimura, right? Which I'm gonna use to restrain him and transition to different attacks. So one of the things I did like recently for you know my site is I have a whole series of lessons that I, I just take for this particular series. I'm just gonna show you one, one possibility, which is a triangle on the far side, all right? So we go here, we're here, we're locked in, and we close the guard again, right? So I'm, I'm in the guard. He's trying, to, he's trying to escape, he's trying to retract his arm. He might be trying to frame against my neck, all that fun stuff, whatever he wants, right? But I'm pulling his elbow as I, push his wrist, creating a pressure on his shoulder, and also a lock him in the restraint. So I'm gonna look, foot goes in the hip. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll to my right side, because my goal is to retract the right leg as well. So even if he's hugging my leg tight, look, I'm rolling and then bridging to retract. All right, and then left leg goes over, and knees pinched on the far side. So again, he tries to drive into me, he tries to stack me, it should be hard. My goal now is just to move my hip to the right, which is gonna allow me to retract my foot and sort of around his arm. So like, instead of trying to, uh, you know, I'm not that flexible for that. I'm just gonna turn my hip and then swivel, chop, lock the diamond. Right now his wrist is still in between my legs. So he tries to pull away, he tries to stab me. Should be hard. Now I'm gonna pull his wrist free, but I'm stretching him out. Like right now it's actually pressure on the shoulder if I wanted to, if I lift it, like his elbow and push his wrist down, it becomes a shoulder lock from within the diamond. But for the triangle, look, I'm gonna push his wrist to my thigh and glue it. I'm pinning it. So when I pin it, what's gonna happen is it's gonna create a structure, a frame that's when he tries to drive into me, it stops my knees from going to my chest, which means that I stay mobile and I can make the transition to the triangle and then pinch to finish. All right, so I'm gonna show that again. This is just one of the options that, that I, I have in the, on the site, but it's a good option. And the transition is so key for closing that gap when people give you that response when they pull away. So, oh, back in. So, two on one, I start dragging, he pulls away. I, look. I cannot go for this without sitting up. 
So like his pull away, I can use it against him. I sitting up with it, punch, lock, foot on the hip, bridge, retract, pinch, angle, and then angle. So I'm turning away and then lock it in, pull. I have a shoulder lock here. I have triangle here where I, I pin, I can also free his hand and control the head. This allows me to, get, it gives me space to make a big transition if I need to, to the triangle. I don't have to make that big transition. I don't have to put the foot on the hip. None of that is necessary. Here, I can control the head. I can underhook the forearm, finish. His arm is also in position for a wrist lock, All right? I can finish there, I can try it. And he's also in position for a wrist, uh, an arm bar. Yeah, it's so much stuff. So much, so many possibilities. Man, it's all fun. It's all fun. And like, man, that's not even like, it's more, it's far more stuff on the site. So, man, feel free to check out BJJ Canvas. This is going to be going into my micro adjust. Micro adjustments. Yes, that's what it's called. And um, there's a lot of other great stuff on there. So, feel free to comment, like, share, all that fun stuff. I always forget to say that. Um, but apparently you need to on YouTube. It blows my mind. All right, have a great day.